Hi guys, this is Forte, and uh, you know, uh, it's January 7th, 2.14 p.m. right now, a uh, Friday, and uh, this video is not going to be on much about swing trading, it's going to be mostly on the day trading, and uh, I'm going to show you guys, I'm, a, I'm looking to make a day trade anytime soon, so I'm looking to show you guys how I'm going to do it, and the reasons behind it, and uh, how I'm going to execute it. So let's take a look at uh, NVDA. That's one I do want to day trade on, right? We can see, I'm showing you guys the wrong screen. That's level two, sorry. The, uh, we can see that basically we've been trapped below the VWAP. So basically what that means is that the buyers for today are in the, are in the red. They're all losing money. Only people that are really making money are the people that bought on this area, right? So if you bought around this area, you're actually making money. And I don't know, you guys cannot see the 15 minute, but I'll show you guys. So if you guys can see my mouse cursor, this is where the people like, uh, this is the data from yesterday. We can see that we're currently consolidating below where it was consolidating yesterday. So people that bought later on in yesterday, they're also losing money, right? The only people that are winning money are the people that bought around this area and this area. So basically the previous consolidation zone is now serving as a uh, you know an area of uh, resistance at this point because the price is being trapped below it and uh, we tried to you know break above it it never worked and uh, now VWAP is showing as resistance so I'm looking to short this thing if we can break up below this line right here right if you guys can see so that will be uh, 272.94 and then my stop will just be pretty tight I'll just put it at like anywhere here 275 ish right that give us about two dollar stop so i'm looking to buy about let's see 250 shares I'm, i can go ahead and put my order in right now because we're trading nvidia if we're nvda if we're trading anything else i actually will not put my order in the reason due to that is because if we take a look if we take a look at level two here we can see that not just level two, but the uh, orders right here that are being that are going through right now. Let's just leave it on this window so I can show you guys. Uh, on other trades, let's for example MLI, we can see that this trade has really low volume, right? Not a lot of trades are being triggered. Now, if anybody were to cancel this the ask price right here, like if anybody had this order in that's selling 200 shares right here at sixty dollars and two cents, if they were to cancel all of this order right here, it will change the price. But then you don't know if anybody actually bought the orders at that price or not. So therefore, you need to look at this thing right here, which is this time and sell to see that the, tr the order is actually being triggered through, right? I think people call this tape reading, right? Or something like that, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it's called. Another, let's take a look at another example. So um, while we wait for the a media trade, uh, it's taking its time. <clears throat> another example, let's take a look at is... Uh, DOV. DOV, we can see that uh, one share, 222 shares is being purchased, but we don't know if it's being purchased or not. Where We know that it's, we know this one we got purchased because the price went up and somebody bought 22 shares of it at 183.75. But what I'm trying to show you guys is that this does not reflect, like people buying and selling the stock does not reflect the price of the stock. What reflects the price of the stock is the difference, you know. Basically, the average between the bid price and the ask price. So right now, you take the average of these two. You got it. Now the price is showing uh, 186, 183.66. But what I'm saying is that basically, you want to use the sales in time to confirm that uh, the price of the movement, the price movement of the stock is legit, and it's not just being, it's not just cancel and uh, putting in orders, you know, and. Uh, so if we're day trading NVIDIA, NVDA, it actually does not matter too much on um, how this thing moves, how level two moves, simply because if we can, if we look at it, it's pretty legit, right? Like this thing trades huge volume. Everybody's trading it, 29 volume for the day already. We don't have to worry about the orders not being legit or not because of big volumes. So basically what I'm saying is like no market and manipulation. That's basically it. And uh that, uh, you know, that's just, even if there's market manipulation, you know, if you just take a look at here, it tells you, you know, it's not that hard. And, uh, okay, now let's take a look at the chart. Let's go back to the chart. 
the uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit on two minutes. And the reason why I use two minute instead of like you know I use five here too, but I don't really use this. I use two minute because I got too used to it, and two is a pretty cool number, right? So we're getting close to the short selling entry price right here. I do have a Discord. I'm gonna go ahead and tell people that I'm looking to short this thing below 172 272.94. So I told people that I'm gonna short MVDA below 272 94. You know, that doesn't really mean that people should follow. I'm just telling them that that's what I'm doing. And uh, I tweet this out on my Twitter too, so you guys should follow me, twitter.com slash forte charts. But here's the thing. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna manage this. Me tweeting it out, people are gonna ask, Forte, are you still, you're losing money right now? You know, most of the time, right? If the, if you see the stock like reverted back, I usually cut my loss really fast. I'll show you guys how fast I do it. Okay, stock is breaking down. We can take a look at it on the uh, two minute chart right here. Really close right here. I can go ahead and draw the line for you guys. A uh, horizontal line right here. If we break below that, I am going to enter my, my short position will be triggered. And I am staring at level 2 right now. The, mostly the time and sales. You know, the orders are legit. People are selling. Just I don't see really big orders. I, I like to see follow through. So I'll show you guys right now. Right here. These are all really small orders. And there are some big ones coming in right now. But mostly small orders. 250, 300, it's a couple big ones right there that just went through. If preferably when I when as it as it triggers me, I like to see really big sizes being triggered, maybe a couple thousand, right? Not these small to one or fifty shares. Here's one thousand, right there. Now we got some big orders coming through right now, and. Uh, they're selling because the price went down on that. We're getting close, but now the price is going up again. So we're just chilling. We're just waiting. Take a look at the chart here. It's easier to show you guys the chart. We can see, oh, we're getting close to the trigger price. And uh, go ahead and show you guys on the level 2 right here. You know, we're getting really, really close. I'm at 90, uh, once 272.94. 272.94, that's where I want to basically sell short. Anything at like two digit number and the size, I just pretty much ignore it. Now you just wait. That's my that's my order right there. Volatility is coming in, three thousand shares. Okay, that's a good sign. So we're seeing follow through right here. But uh, let's see if uh, it's following through on the downside or are people buying here? Oops. So my expectation is that as we break below it, we should see more sellers coming through. Give a couple of seconds. We are buying it at the 273 level. So we broke we broke below 273 and you know we got in at 272.93. And we can see that the price is right on here right now. And uh 
Sellers are not coming through, are not as strong right now. So therefore, I might just cut my loss pretty, pretty soon. There you go, there's a follow through. That took a while. So now the order, you know, we're being the price is going down, breaking below it. If I see anything, you know, inconvenience to my eyes, I'm just gonna cut the loss. For example, the price not holding, not being pushed down. Meanwhile, I have a, you know, have a chocolate. It is Friday, so the you gotta you guys gotta keep in mind the psychology of this trade, right? Like I explained it earlier, we're trapped below VWAP, well, buyers are losing money, investors are losing money, people that buy in the last two days, three days, four days, are all actually losing money, right? And today's Friday, what are the chances of people wanting to hold this trade over the weekend, right? Probably not that high. And we can see the buyers is pushing this price up. Is this okay? Give it a little bit of room. The price is following through. It's uh, you know, not acting as uh, basically. The price isn't acting like how I thought it should act. So I'm gonna cut my loss right here. So I lost ninety one dollars in that trade, and that's it. 